Alrighty, it's your turn now. <laughs> What's up y'all, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome to the video, welcome to the channel. It is time to get out our transfer case. Alrighty, if you remember way back when, when we took all this apart, we got rid of the ACD transfer case and we we're going non-ACD transfer case. So we uh, bought this thing and sent it to Shepherd Transmission and they took care of it for us, and uh, oh, they actually sent us some more. Look at that. This stuff is apparently like gold right now. Super hard to find, super hard to get, but I was able to track down two bottles of it, but they sent me one with it, so look at that. Oh, yeah. All right. There she is. This little guy is super important here because it has that little O-ring that has to go in this transfer case or it will leak. This little guy <laughs> cannot be lost or misplaced. One thing I will say that I'm not particularly a fan of is I'm not sure what kind of coatings they use at Shepherd Trans, but um, I noticed it on my transmission as well, but it does not take much for this like coating they put on here to like rub off. And um, I'm not generally a fan of that. Uh, <laughs> I'd rather it stay, you know, where it's supposed to, but um, looks good though. Okay, got this thing blown off with air, got all that like packing material dust off of the thing. I am super excited about this thing because it does have wave track now, so um, that's going to be super fun to see how this thing drives and how all that stuff works. Um, but I'm um, just overall really excited to get this thing onto the car. This has been sitting here in the floor for quite a while. Having a wave track limited slip differential gives you quicker acceleration and faster cornering by driving both wheels instead of just one. And they offer improved no load performance when compared to other helical gear differentials on the market. I.e. under hard cornering and one wheel comes off the ground, this one will still drive both wheels. We got um, all new hardware here. I'm gonna go through and make sure I have everything first. One, two, a three, four, Five, six, we do have everything, so that is a good sign. New hardware goes right here. Um, I guess now, I guess first off we put in the shaft, and then I guess all there really is to do after putting in the shaft is uh, putting it onto the car. <laughs> I like how they colored in this little section right here with the little arrows, like that's where that O-ring goes. Has to go right there or this thing will leak. Okay, also inside of this little packing slip with the uh, little O-ring there, we have the uh, filling and break-in procedures. So um, I do want to read this because there's a lot of things that go around. I know Jax has their um, filling technique on their website. They say to do it while it's off the car from the uh, top right here. But um, we'll see what they say here. And uh, yeah, go from there. All right, went ahead and got that shaft in there. Just slid right in, so we got that thing on there. And so now, I guess I can fill it up with oil. All right, y'all, we are back out here. It's been probably almost a week now since we got to this transfer case thing. There's been some other projects happening. We got some other videos out, stuff like that. But we are back out here now working on the transfer case to get this thing up under the car. Uh, let me explain what I've done so far and we can go from there. So we got the transfer case and I got up under the car and I tried to see if I could just get it up under there, um, you know, fit it up on there and how much I had to like lean the transfer case and all that kind of stuff because the recommended way to fill this thing up is to put oil in the top right here or the tail part of it and it will fill it up, put a full quart in there and you should be good to go. You gotta drive it around for a little bit, come back, undo the fill plug and whatever's left over will run out and that's how you know it's full. Um, there's several different ways how this thing is designed. Um, it can be a little confusing. Doing it through the fill plug can make you think it's full but it's not full. And so there's a couple different recommended ways. I'm gonna try to do it through the tailpiece here, we have, <laughs> as funny as this sounds, we have several quarts of oil, so I guess I have a couple mistakes I can make before we have to uh, figure out a new way. So I'm gonna try to put the uh, oil into this thing from the tail part, and we'll plug in the drive shaft into it so we don't lose any of the oil, and then we should be able to just pick the thing up and line it up into there. Now, I believe this way would be incredibly difficult if you had the subframe still in the car. Um, I don't know that you could do it, honestly. Um, trying to snake it through the subframe and all that kind of stuff, and that just seems so difficult to do without spilling out any of the oil. But us not having any subframe, nothing like that in there, 
I think we'll be okay, and being able to plug the drive shaft into the end of it should keep us from getting out any oil. Um, I do have a little mat down, so just in case we do lose some oil, it'll go onto that and probably onto me, um, but we're gonna learn uh, either the hard way or the easy way here <laughs> to do this. And so, um, yeah, let's go ahead, we'll get some oil, we'll fill it into the tail part, and we'll start getting this thing up into the car and um, cross your fingers, because I am not sure how this is gonna go. <laughs> Number one, if the transfer case is new, rebuilt, or out of the vehicle, tip it to the tail housing up and add one quart through the tail housing where the drive shaft splines into it. Proceed with installing the transfer case and being careful not to tip the tail housing down too far, letting the fluid run out. After the transfer case is installed and the car is running, drive the vehicle or run it onto the lift for a few miles to circulate the fluid. The last step is simply to have the vehicle level and remove the fuel plug. This will allow the excess fluid to run out, ensuring that all bearings and oil passages are full and the transfer case is at the proper level. Okay, so I'm gonna just pour the whole quart in there like it says, and uh, once we fill this thing up through this way, uh, we're kind of dead set on putting it straight onto the drive shaft and trying to get it up in there this way, um, or else we're losing a lot of oil and have to start over, uh, which, like I said, I've got multiple quarts, so I guess that would be okay, but I don't wanna just, uh, <laughs> I don't wanna just waste this stuff either, so. Well, now that I'm thinking about it, the instructions also say that I have to change this oil after the first like 100 or 500 miles. So I'm gonna have to do it the old way anyways. So I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> it's just clicking in my head as to why I'm doing it this way. Let me pause for a second. <laughs> I wonder if I can uh, have a redo here. I haven't put that much into it yet and maybe I can just get this thing up on there and uh, we'll do it the other way because I'm gonna have to do it that way anyways after we go the 100 or 500 miles. So whether I do it this way or not is irrelevant. Right? <laughs> Number two, this method can be used while the transfer case fluid is being changed. While this is the messiest way, it does ensure that the transfer case is full. May require a helper. I don't have that. Use a hand transfer pump and insert the hose from the end of the pump into the transfer case drain hole. Tightly wrap a rag around the hose to make a seal. Continue holding while you or a helper pumps one quart into the transfer case. Quickly remove the hose and reinstall the drain plug. Now you can remove the fill plug, letting excess fluid run out the fill hole. Filling from the bottom ensures the transfer case is full. Now, the reason why I have trouble with this process in my head, you're filling it from the drain hole, so you're fighting against gravity, um, which I guess is why they say it's the messiest method, but it also ensures that the transfer case is full. So I guess I'm gonna do it that way. I'm gonna have to do it the second way eventually anyway. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna do it the second way. Let's put this thing on and we'll put the oil in after that. The one thing I am worried about is now that my mic is on my chest, I'm gonna have to have this thing setting on my chest, so I don't wanna crush the microphone. So I'm going to, it has a magnet on it, and so I'm gonna mount this thing to the bottom of the car somewhere, <laughs> and we'll have it there. So I'm not sure how the audio will sound, but hopefully this works. If not, I'll just talk over it or something, I don't know. So I don't really have a good way of showing this to you, so hopefully I'm not in the way too much when it comes to this, but I've got this thing on a cart right now. Um, I think we're in a good spot. Um, I'm gonna keep the jack right here next to me, just in case we run into a predicament where I need it. But, um, yeah, here we go, I suppose. Um, let's get this tail right here. All right, I gotta get in the way, I think. Also, I have you guys mounted up top up here on the frame, so hopefully you guys can hear me okay. If not, I apologize. Come on now. Okay, there we go. It went on to the uh, drive shaft, smooth as silk. Um, so, I'm gonna get up under it here. My jack is kind of in the way now. Scoot that out of the way. Yeah. Let's get it under my body. Ugh, this is difficult. Okay, my O-ring that has to go on the transfer case is stuck in place, so that's a plus. And, Slide this bitch right onto the transmission. Come on. You're on the shaft. You're right there. You can do it. I need to get my hand back here. Yeah. It's so close. I might need to rotate that a little bit. Now let's try it this way. Okay. That was worse than before. So let's try it again. We'll rotate this thing a little bit more. Here we go. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna raise up my jack stand. Alrighty. O-ring is still in place. Very lovely. That's what we like to see. Okay, now I gotta rock this thing a little bit to get it on, like actually on. <coughs> I'm all balled up under the rug here. Okay, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. 
It's so close, you know? Ow! Hit my knee on the oil cooler. Oh, you're so close, man. Just go on there, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna try to mess with this a little bit and see if I can get it a little bit closer, and then we'll jump back. Because I doubt you guys wanna sit here and watch me struggle with this for the next 20, 30 minutes. Oh, come on. I need you to work with me. Okay. Oh, I think it's on there. <laughs> Could that be considered close enough to run the to run the bolts to it? I think so. I need to grab my light, and make sure my O-ring is still where it's supposed to be, but holy crap. Drive shaft is off of the jack stand. I think that's got it. Oh yeah, we're up against it now. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm gonna grab my, my fresh new hardware and we're gonna bolt this thing on. Holy shit, ow, f And this one goes up top through the longest portion. And then the rest of these just go around the edge. If you'll remember, taking this transfer case off uh, the shop that I had to do this uh, when the engine was blown when I bought the car, there were two bolts missing from the transfer case. Just no, no mention of it, nothing like that, just missing bolts three on the three on top three on the bottom we should be good i've been stressing about that for no reason apparently because that was super easy um that went on without a hitch as i've said i don't know how many times the guys that work on these things that keep everything on the car or have to keep everything on the car like the subframe and all that stuff man mad props to you guys i don't know how you do it you like have to wrestle this stuff around and get it in between these tight places. You know, this was such a big project for me. I've never done anything like this before, but having everything off of the car, man, it's it's been such a, <laughs> it's been so, like I'll say easy, quote unquote, but man, I can't imagine doing it with everything still on the car, that's for sure. Um, we're gonna crawl back under the car now. Uh, we're gonna tighten everything down. The uh, transfer case bolts go to uh, 51 foot pounds plus or minus seven, so, we're gonna do 54 and um, yeah, get this thing locked down. These are definitely 17s. I'm glad I brought both. <laughs> there we are. Oh man, you don't fit. What a bitch. Boink. Boom. We'll get the paint pen and we'll mark all those done. Now, I guess since all that's in, I'm gonna hang this light right about here. Uh, we can go ahead and put in this shaft right here. Um, make sure we got the right end. This is the end that has the has the bolt that's able to thread through it. And we're gonna slide this guy through. Well, my light died, so we had to max out the uh, ISO on the camera here. So hopefully, you can see what. I, oh, there it went. That is all the way in there. Stubby shaft, output shaft whatever it's called, is in the transmission. I think I've been just stalling, uh, trying to avoid this part, but let's go ahead and put in the oil and hope we don't cause a big mess. <laughs> this fill plug is on there, and I got a feeling I'm gonna catch a wrench to the face here in a hurry. Oh my God. Woo! <laughs> Didn't catch it to the face, but that was, I was getting a little worried there. That's, that's some stress on the, uh, <laughs> on the motor mounts up there. We're gonna try to keep this as messless as possible. We're gonna set this mat right about here. And uh, let me go get some towels and some rags and uh, we'll go from there. So now what we're gonna do is take this thing, we're gonna stick it up in there, wrap ourselves this little rag around the hose and we'll just pump things up and hopefully we can get this uh, entire quart into the case here. Hopefully the oil we have already in here doesn't come flying out, which is probably going to, because this is the drain plug, but we're gonna try to get it in there as fast as possible. Yep, there we go, all right. <laughs> okay, now we just pump away. What's gonna be the scary part is <laughs> taking this rag off of here and uh, putting in this drain plug again. That's gonna be the super scary part. Like I said, at least we know that we have to put in the entire quart, so you know, if a quart's not gone, then we know we don't have enough in there. Well, we're getting towards the end here. You can hear it sucking air. So we're gonna remove this damn thing 
and we're going to try to plug this thing up as fast as possible. Are you ready? <laughs> Here we go. And there we got it. Not a lot at all came out. <laughs> we're going to clean this up, tighten everything back down. And I mean, that, as far as I can tell, is a full transfer case. You know, that, that task sounds really scary, but doing it like that really wasn't all that bad. Um, I mean, that's all that really came out onto the rag. So, I mean, that's not bad. I just took out the uh, little pumper thing and I turned over the bottle and nothing came out. So um, I'm pretty confident we got a full quart into this thing. What little bit came out, um, I'm not worried about. Um, once we get this thing rolling, we'll take it around the block once and then um, come back and we'll take out that fill plug and let the excess run out. And um, yeah, I think we're golden. Holy cannoli, we got the transfer case on the car. I'm marking it off the list. That went on super, super smooth. I uh, kind of didn't expect that, I guess, but um, I'm confident with the oil we got in there, all that stuff, it's all on there. Everything's good to go into there. So all that's left now really is the AC condenser, radiator, getting the front stuff frame on there, and then we're ready to put the suspension stuff on there and have this thing possibly sitting on the ground here soon, which I'm trying to process that myself. Um, it seems like it's been forever and it has been, but um, we're getting also close. And so thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. I do appreciate it very much as always. Drop a comment down below. If you guys have any questions or anything, drop those down there as well. I'll be glad to help much as I can, chat, whatever. And I will see you next time. Bye.